One of the most anticipated games of this month is Kenna Bridge of Spirits which was unfortunately delayed last month to this month. My name is Game and Madness and today I'll be talking about some of the things that you need to know about Kenna Bridge of Spirits as it's coming out later this month. The first thing we talk about is when the game is coming out. Well, the game is coming out on 21st September and will be exclusive to Epic Store and PC but also available in PS4 and PS5. The pre-order value for the game is very cheap in Epic Store as well because it costs only 939 rupees. The next thing we'll talk about is how exactly this story is going to be. You'll be playing as a young girl by the name Kenna who finds herself in this village which is destroyed due to a terrible calamity many years ago and you're looking for a way to restore its beauty and its life back. You will be doing that by guiding spirits from one realm to another realm to help them move on. You will help these spirits combat their regrets and confront their unfinished business. The story will also feature a lot about her past life and her relationship with her father apparently but apart from that there is nothing else that was mentioned. Obviously when the game comes out then you will understand how the story really is. In terms of gameplay, Kana Bridge of Spirits is basically a third person adventure game where you use uh, magic to take dark entities out of the world at the very moment that they're there in that world. You have a staff that works as a melee weapon where you can do heavy, light and charged attacks and it also works as a ranged weapon where it turns into a bow. You will also have small cute looking creatures called as rot. They will not only really help you in distracting enemy but once the enemy is weak, the rot will also jump into the combat by taking various shapes to pummel enemies, shooting projectiles, swarming foes and more. You can find these rods in hidden places across the world so the more you collect the better it is for you because they will help you in variety of things. Kenna also has the ability which is a pulse that can create a shield around her with a health bar of its own so obviously it will have vital defensive applications. But outside of combat the pulse can be used to highlight clues or object of interest that you need to see. The world of Kenna won't be an open world as the devs have described the world as wide linear with a main path to follow which will give plenty of exploration options such as exploring side areas, engaging in optional activities and more. As you play more, you get more opportunities to explore new areas as they sort of get unlocked, you can say. Since this game is inspired by The Legend of Zelda, you will be solving a lot of puzzles and the rods will be helping you in solving these puzzles and more. In terms of how long this game is going to be, the devs haven't mentioned the exact numbers but it will be a medium length game as the devs did mention that you can finish it by the weekend. Now this could mean that if you ignore all side quests and just do the main story then maybe you can finish up by the weekend and maybe if you do side quests and activities along with the main quest then it might take a bit longer. But it's not going to be as long as you want it to be. It's not going to be a long game as a AAA game but it's going to be you know decently long enough for you to enjoy everything that will come with this game. And the last thing is the system requirements of this game and it's not too demanding. On minimum settings you either need AMD FX6100 or Intel i3-3220 with a AMD Radeon HD7750 or an Nvidia GTX 650 with 8GB of RAM. While in recommended you either need AMD Ryzen 7 1700 or Intel i7-6700K with either AMD RX Vega 56 or Nvidia GTX 1070 with 16GB of RAM. And the storage requirement is also only 25 GB. Even the recommended settings has not crossed the RTX graphics cards requirement as well. So you can easily play this game in the minimum settings and uh, that is one thing that I love about this game because it's not too demanding. So these are all the things that you need to know about Kenna Bridge of Spirits. Let us know in the comments below are you looking forward to play this game. And also if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe to Gamer Connect because you can watch more videos just like this in the future. And speaking of videos, check out some of the older videos such as, uh, you know, the biggest games coming out in this month of September, a review of 12 minutes and more.